Okay, so now moving on to our last component of our area demand, which is our net exports. So remember our net exports is equal to our exports minus our imports. Exports are um, goods that we sell to other countries and imports are things that we buy from other countries. Um, so just, I just, you, you can read some of the statistics here. Uh, but um, if you think about Canada's exports, we are highly dependent on the, um, on the U.S. market, okay? All right, so there are four determinants of our net exports. Our first one is the exchange rate. So the exchange rate is pretty much, you know, the value of our Canadian dollar and how that affects our net exports. So let's just go through that example right now. Okay, so, so let's say that our Canadian dollar, let's say that our Canadian dollar decreases. Well, what would you expect to happen to exports? If the, so we're talking about Canadian exports, okay? So if the Canadian dollar goes down, that means the value of our goods um, are less expensive. So therefore you would expect our exports to increase. However, for the average Canadian, um, if the Canadian dollar goes, uh, uh, falls, that means that when we decide to go to the States and go uh, cross-border shopping, that now um, can American goods are now more expensive to us. So therefore, you're going to expect our imports to fall. What would you expect to see is you would expect to see a decline, or sorry, an increase in our net exports, okay? And if our net exports were to increase, okay, uh, you would expect to see an increase in our AD, okay? So, um, so let's go and, and look at the opposite, okay? Uh, so if the Canadian dollar were to increase, what would you expect to see? Well, now our goods uh, are more expensive, so our exports will fall. However, to the average Canadian, that's a good thing because we go down to the States, let's say we go to Bellingham to go shopping, and things are cheaper because our, our dollar is stronger. So you're going to expect our imports to increase. What would you expect to happen to our net exports? Well, our net exports will fall. Uh, if our net exports fall, you would expect our AD to decrease. Okay, I guess I doubled this here, so, okay. All right, so just a little bit of your causal relationship here. Okay, so now looking at our domestic versus foreign prices, once again, I think it's a, this, a similar rationale. Um, we are always going to try and buy things from the cheapest place, okay? So I'll give you an example. Um, sometimes I decide, I look at amazon.ca and amazon.com. Uh, I have a little uh, mailbox in Blaine, Washington. So sometimes if, uh, if I order things from amazon.com, I just get it sent to my mailbox in Blaine, Washington, and then I just cross the border and I pick it up, okay? So if I'm looking at, you know, say a new toaster oven, okay? I'm gonna go look at amazon.ca and I'm gonna look at amazon.com. And if it's cheaper on amazon.com after factoring in the exchange rate, I'm gonna buy it from there. Okay, and I'm, I'm sure that most of us, that's what we tend to do. I mean, we always tend to look to see, we, we price shop, 
Okay, we price shop based on different, you know, uh, companies. You know, you're gonna if you're looking for a um, a blender, I'm gonna go to London Drugs and check out the prices. I'm gonna go to Best Buy and I'm gonna go to the Bay. Well, we're gonna do that between different countries depending on where you are. So right now, because we live in Vancouver, we're not that far from crossing the border. So a lot of times, if things are cheaper in the States after factoring in the exchange rate, well, I'm, I'm gonna go buy things there. So that is what we're looking at in terms of domestic versus foreign prices. If our prices are cheaper in Canada, well, then you're gonna expect a lot of people to buy our goods, our exports will increase. If our goods are cheaper, then we're not gonna buy goods from somebody else, so our imports are gonna be lower, which means that our net exports will increase and our air demand will increase. And the reverse is true. If our goods are more expensive, well, our, our foreigners will not buy our goods, which means that our exports will fall. Canadians will buy more imports because goods are cheaper somewhere else. So our imports will go up. That means that our net exports will decrease and our air demand will decrease. Okay, it's as simple as that. People naturally will price compare and you're always going to go to the you're always going to buy from the the place where it is the cheapest our uh our third determinant is something called tariffs so there are two types of tariffs there's import tariffs and there are export tariffs and import tariffs is a tax that, that tax that is levied on goods entering a country. And export tariffs are goods that's uh, levied on goods leaving the country. So, uh, so I, let's just, uh, I'm just gonna move to the whiteboard to go through some of these ideas, uh, this concept with you. Okay, so now let's take a look at our import tariff. So an import tariff is a special tax that gets placed uh, on a good when it crosses our border. Okay, so let's say there's an import tariff on U.S. goods. So that means as soon as the U.S. Uh, sends their goods over here, okay, and as soon as it crosses the Canadian border, uh, when it shows up at Walmart, you know, in Metro Town, uh, this import tariff is placed on this good, which will then artificially raise the price of these goods. Okay, so when there is an import tariff, what is what's going to happen? Okay, the Canadian government places an import tariff on U.S. goods, okay? So that means, or, or any, uh, any imports, okay? Which means that you're gonna expect your imports to decrease, okay? Because it's more expensive. We assume that right now our exports state remains the same. However, um, you know, Generally, if you slap a tariff on uh, goods coming from a certain country, they will usually reciprocate and slap an import tariff on you. So it's not usually a good thing because that's how trade wars get started. And anyways, that is uh, a different uh, uh, issue altogether. Okay, so right now our imports have decreased and our exports have, are remaining the same which means that you would expect our net uh, exports to increase. When our net exports increases, you would expect a, uh, an increase in our AD, okay? And once again, if the, our AD curve increases, that means it shifts to the right, okay? Uh, now let's take a look at our export tariffs. Our export tariff, is now a tax that gets slapped on a good leaving our country. 
So, uh, so our stumpage fees in, you know, for BC is an example of an export tariff. So that means, uh, so if you're looking at lumber, so this, um, you know, this so many meters of, of lumber is on route to the U.S. As soon as it, you know, uh, leaves Canada, the Canadian government slaps a tax on it. And then when it goes to, uh, you know, a store in the U.S., the prices have been artificially inflated. Uh, with our export tariffs, what you would expect is now our exports are more expensive. So you would expect our exports to decrease. Let's assume that our imports stays the same. So in this case, you would expect our net exports to decrease. And when our net exports uh, decreases, you would expect our agri demand to decrease as well. Okay, so now our last determinant for our uh, net exports is foreign income. So once again, um, a foreign income is pretty much, we're looking at the economic health of our trading partners. So uh, our largest trading partner is the US. So pretty much we're, we're talking about the US, okay? So if their income is increasing, so you gotta think when, uh, our, when household income increases, that means you know the economy is doing well. Uh, it, you know uh, people are making lots of money. Uh, when people make lots of money, what do they do? Well, they buy more of everything, which means they will also buy more of, you know, goods from us. So when foreign income increases, you would expect exports to increase. Um, then you would expect net exports to increase which then will, you would expect agri demand to increase, which will then shift your AD curve to the right. 